guys, welcome to Backside Cutie. My name is Abby, and today we are going to be driving our amazing Clawbot. But we are going to be doing it wireless with Bluetooth technology. So that means no more of this dude. We are also going to be, upon request, doing a short review of all of our pieces. Now let's get started. For Vex IQ competitions, you're gonna need to learn how to program. But lucky for us, the Vex IQ brain comes pre-programmed for all of the Clawbot's functions, which means driving, lifting up the claw, and opening and closing it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do all those things, but first, let's link it in. So we have our cord here. Attach your cord to the area that says tether. And the other side to your remote. Turn it on. Go to settings. Go down. And TC calibrate controller. And follow the instructions on the screen. Victory music. And you can un undo your tether cord. Make sure you have a battery in your controller. And now let's get driving. Go back to your programs and go click on driver control. To go forward, you're gonna need to move both, both joysticks forward. To go backwards, both joysticks backwards. To go to one side, bring that side forward. So to go left, bring the left side forward. To go right, bring the right side forward. You can also do both sides forward. I mean, on one side forward and one side backwards for a fast turn. And the same thing with the other side. So that's, that's how to drive. I showed you that how to do that in a few videos back, but how to control the claw part of your claw butt is pretty easy. These two right here lift up and down. And these two buttons here open and close. Open and close. So now let's pick something up. I have this cup right here, and let's see how well our robot can do picking it up. Move forward a little, close, and lift up. Now let's get to a short review of all the pieces. First we're gonna start off with beams. So these are two of our beams. Beams are measured by their length and their width. Their length and their width. So saying this one, its width is two and its length is 16. So this is a two by 16 beam. This one, since its width is one and its length is 12, this is a one by 12 beam. So that's all for beams. Now let's go on to plates. So this is one of our plates, Pl just like beams, plates go by their length and their width. This, because this one is a four by four plate. Like this is only one plate, but like all plates, they have to be small, more square or rectangular, unlike beams, which are longer and skinnier. So that's all for plates. Now let's move on to corner connectors. So these are three of our corner connectors. Corner connectors are needed if you wanna make any 3D or three-dimensional figures. So you just take a beam or a plate, attach them, and boom, you have a fast and easy corner. So that's all for corner connectors. Now let's move on to connector pins. 
So right here I have three kinds of connector pins. We have the single single, the double double, and the single double. These pins can be used to connect things, like let's say these beams. If you only want to connect two things, you only need a single single pin. But let's say you want to connect three or more, you should use a double double. Or a single double. The single double can connect right here. It can connect three things. So that's connector pins. Now let's move on to rubber collars. To explain collars, we first have to explain shafts. Shafts come in plastic black versions or silver metal versions. The collar will stop anything from falling off a shaft. So you could put a gear on the shaft and the collar will stop it from falling off. Now let's move on to gears. So right here I have three different gears. There is the smaller gear, the medium gear, and the larger gear. Gears are cool because they move each other by just moving one of them. Gears can be used to control all sorts of Vex IQ creations. So that's all for gears. Now let's move on to pitch standoffs. So right here I have a pitch standoff. Pitch standoffs help with elevated connecting. So if I would attach this, I could have an elevated beam or, or, um, or plate. This makes it so that you can make things expanded wider or longer. So that's all for pitch standoffs. Now let's move on to washers. To explain washers, I first need to explain spacers. Spacers are a little bit thicker than washers, so it gives a bigger space between two Vex IQ items. So if we're saying we have a shaft and a plastic piece, we don't want to break the plastic piece. So that's why we have spacers and washers. Now let's move on to angles. Right here I have two angles and a T connector. This T connector can make a beam go in three different directions. An angle can make a beam change its path. So that is all for angles and our pieces. But right before we end this episode, I have one tiny bit of housekeeping. My, right now, my YouTube address is at the bottom of the screen. It's youtube.com slash channel slash U-C-A-P-X-P-N-J-U-W-W-X-K-Q-O-4-D H L S R X one W. It's okay, I guess, but what I really want it to be is youtube.com slash vexiqd. As my favorite podcast ho host Ryan would say, shameless plug time. If we have if we get to a hundred subscribers, we can change this address. So tell your friends and tell your family members to subscribe who wouldn't be want to be part of the Vexi crew. Together we can make a difference. Until next time, bye.